India is trying to position itself as a rising global power, and that includes a visit to the United Nations. And an interview with an American think tank, where the Indian foreign minister told the crowd New Delhi does not carry out extrajudicial killings. Uh, this is not the government of India's policy. Two, we told the Canadians, saying that, look, if you have something specific, if you have something relevant, you know, let us know. We are open to looking at it. He also dug in, repeating India's claim Canada is sheltering terrorists and criminals and is too lax on six separatists. We have actually been badgering the Canadians. Uh, we have given them a lot of uh, information. Last week, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau revealed Canada has credible intelligence. India may be linked to the killing of Canadian Sikh leader Harjit Singh Nidjar. I can confirm what the Prime Minister shared publicly, that there is clear intelligence that Canada has. India calls the allegation absurd. Credible allegations. While a bizarre smear campaign against Trudeau is underway in Indian media. With unfounded claims, the Prime Minister brought cocaine onto his plane during his visit for the G20. It's against this backdrop a senior Canadian military officer travelled to the Indian capital for a gathering of army chiefs. Major General Peter Scott spoke with Indian news agency ANI. I'm fully aware of uh, Prime Minister Trudeau's uh, statement, the government's stance and the government's request for India to participate in uh, and cooperate in the investigation. But really that has no impact on us here at the Indo-Pacific uh, Conference. New Delhi is hosting that conference as Western leaders court India to counter China. They're also not happy about this coming uh, out publicly the way it has come uh, because there was a great deal at stake. There are also questions about what the diplomatic dispute means for Canada's Indo-Pacific strategy. There's an entire section dedicated to India. The country is a pillar in the year-old strategy, and right now that pillar is shaky. Taria Isri, Global News, Ottawa.